Today, let's dive into something a little bit deeper. Let's talk about the feminine dark side. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new around here, my name is Jills and I talk about all things feminine energy, wellness, self-development for women. So if that's something you wanna learn more about, be sure to hit the red subscribe button below as well as the notification bell so you don't miss when I put out any new videos. So a lot of people, when they think of feminine energy, they think of this very light, loving, sweet, precious vibe, right? And is that a part of feminine energy? Absolutely, but there's more to it than that. And I think that this idea of feminine energy doesn't always resonate with everyone because it's leaving out some of that dark side. There's this concept of the light and the dark feminine. The light feminine is like what I just mentioned, that soft, loving energy, but there's also a darker, deeper feminine as well. And that's what I wanna talk about today. I think some people refer to the dark feminine as the wounded feminine, but that's not what I'm talking about. So when I say the feminine dark side, I don't mean that this is bad or negative in any way, but it's just things that are more primal, more subconscious, not really talked about as much. More of that femme fatale archetype and things that a lot of women have been taught to suppress. A great example of this in the media would be somebody like Angelina Jolie or Beyonce. They both really harness more of this darker feminine energy. I think for a woman to fully own her power, step into her feminine strength, she has to harness these darker depths within her and not only incorporate the lighter feminine, but some of the darker feminine as well. But in our world today, a lot of this darker feminine energy is suppressed because we're taught that. We're taught that a lot of this stuff really isn't okay. But I want to flip the script on this a little bit. So I'm sharing four things that you can work on to help reclaim and unleash your feminine dark side. So the first thing you can do to start tapping into this darker feminine energy is to fully express your emotions. Even even the not so fun ones. Our society has taught us that we have to stifle and suppress the emotions that we have, that our emotions are not okay and that we have to hide them and push them back down. But the darker feminine fully embraces these emotions, embraces these emotional waves. Your emotions are meant to be felt and are meant to be released. We become so conditioned to suppress our emotions that even when we're in the comfort of our own home and totally alone, we still feel guilt or anxiety around feeling these feelings and fully letting them out. Or maybe we can't even do it at all. Although there are so many amazing, wonderful parts of life, there are also things that might make us angry or sad or fearful. And not fully expressing these emotions and letting them out can cause them to get stuck in the body, so to say. And this can cause physical and mental health issues. And you might not feel this right away, but eventually this all builds up and there will be a tipping point. A lot of times you might have felt this yourself in the past, if you are consistently suppressing your emotions throughout the month, whether it's to keep the peace or you're just not comfortable with it or for whatever reason, these suppressed emotions, these suppressed feelings will kind of explode when you get to the luteal phase in your cycle, which is that time that's right before your period. And a lot of people think of feminine energy as sweet, loving, always happy, doesn't get angry or at least doesn't express their anger. But the healthy, strong feminine does. They are in touch with their emotions and aren't afraid to feel them. This is healthy. Suppressing your emotions is not. So I encourage you to honor these emotions, feel these emotions, and release these emotions. Embrace that inner dark side of you and let these feelings out. Now here's the thing, embracing these emotions does not cause you to lose touch with your feminine energy, but it's how you do it that matters. A lot of times this is not just with women and feminine energy, this is just with everybody. A lot of times, when we are expressing these intense emotions, especially emotions like anger, we can kind of get a little bit aggressive. Maybe we're just outright aggressive and mean to people or passive aggressive, or we're projecting our insecurities on other people, but that doesn't have to be the case. When you start to feel these heavier emotions within you and when you're in a comfortable and safe space, take time to sit with these emotions. Intentionally feel these emotions. Don't distract yourself with social media or Netflix, just sit with them. The only way out of these emotions is through. Feel them, embrace them, work through them, and release them. The dark feminine does not hide what they're feeling or suppress it, it owns it. The second thing that is really important to embrace when it comes to unleashing your feminine dark side is honoring your sacred sexuality. 
People don't want to talk about this part of the feminine. We grew up hearing these negative, bad names that I'm not going to say about women who are more in touch with this side of themselves. And we hear these bad names and we subconsciously learn that expressing our sexuality is not always okay. Some of us might learn that being in touch with our sacred sexuality is bad or that this part of us is more for others and less for ourselves or that we just have to be a good little girl. But the darker feminine owns their their sensuality, owns their sexuality, owns their desires, even owns their seduction. None of this is bad. The darker feminine is just more in touch with their own innate powerful sexual energy. And this has nothing to do with being promiscuous or anything that you choose to do. This is just about the energy that you hold. Are you in touch with your body? Are you in touch with your desires? Are you in touch with that primal part of you that's underneath everything else? Are you aware of just how powerful and influential this energy is? Are you aware of your ability to attract and magnetize? If you feel disconnected from this side of you, then this is a really big sign that you're not fully harnessing the powers of the dark feminine. If you feel like you've lost your spark, if you feel like you can't fully embrace pleasure, not just with sexuality, but with life in general, then I really encourage you to start slowly digging deeper into those darker depths. Slowly start letting more of that primal part of you out more. Again, not a lot of people want to talk about this. There is a time and a place for sweetness and being light and loving and angelic. And there's a time and a place for being raw, honest, sexy, even a little bit devilish in a fun and playful way. It's about incorporating them both, but a lot of times we don't fully unleash this darker side. Your sacred sexuality and everything that has to do with it is an important and vital part of you. It's energy giving, it's life giving. Don't be afraid to tap into this part of your feminine. Next, the darker feminine does not put up with anyone's BS and they are not afraid to stand in their truth. I think a lot of people see the feminine as agreeable and really easy to get along with, but a woman who also harnesses some of their darker feminine energy knows how to be assertive when they need to and isn't afraid to be bold. The darker feminine is all about really owning who you are, owning your desires, owning your emotions and standing true to that and not being easily swayed by someone else's thoughts, opinions, or judgments. As a feminine woman, you're allowed to disagree. You're allowed to have a strong opinion. You're allowed to realize and call out any sort of BS that you see in your life. I talk a lot about how one of the biggest strengths of the feminine is their intuition, but it's not enough to just hear that truth. You also have to stand in that truth. Again, I think this is all about the way that it's done. When you're communicating these types of things, does it come from a wounded place? Are you projecting your own insecurities at people? Or are you simply just confident and bold in who you are, what you stand for, and what you tolerate? A lot of us learn this when we're young. We learn that keeping the peace and being a good little girl is important, but try to let that past conditioning go. You don't have to dim your light to please others. You can be a bold, take no crap kind of woman and still be fully in your feminine energy. Another thing that's important for harnessing your darker feminine energy is embracing some of that inner wild woman. The masculine tends to be very linear. It's very focused on getting from point A to point B and it is very goal oriented. But the feminine on the other hand is the complete opposite. It's the opposite of linear. Think of it more like a spiral. There's kind of a lot of stuff going on at once. They're doing a lot of things at once and there's no direct route to point B. And if you wanna get really crazy with it, with the feminine, time doesn't even really exist. So in general, the feminine, especially the darker feminine is more wild and chaotic. And a lot of times these words are associated with negativity, but that doesn't have to be the case, especially when these things are within moderation. The darker feminine is able to tap into their wild side, their spontaneity, their playfulness, their primal instincts. This wild woman could mean very different things for different people. What makes you feel wild in a good way? What brings you life? What brings you joy? What connects you to mother earth and possibly the great beyond? What kind of adventures do you dream to have? Honor this wild woman inside of you. 
every woman has it. So when we talk about feminine energy and activating our feminine energy, we have to incorporate both the light and the dark side. I think you could easily see that if you just have one without the other, this could easily lead to problems. Life is a balancing act, right? If you choose to only incorporate the light feminine, this could lead to people pleasing and not having strong boundaries and suppressing some of who you are. But if you only chose to incorporate the darker feminine, then this could easily lead to manipulation, instability, and drama. So I hope this video encourages you today to dive a little bit deeper into your feminine journey and to dive a little bit deeper into yourself. Now don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you enjoyed this video I'd greatly appreciate it when you hit the like button because it really helps me to know what kind of content you guys like to watch and also it really helps me to grow and to support me. Now if you haven't already go check out these two videos as well. Besides that I will catch you next time. Bye guys!